Today's workout is a second trimester prenatal ab workout. We're gonna get started on our backs. We're gonna work for 50 seconds and rest for 10. But if you need more time to rest, feel free to take it. Arms by your side, palms up, pull your belly button in toward your spine and we're gonna march with those legs. So one knee comes over the hip, tap it down, switch legs up and down. Just gently pressing the lower back toward the floor, bringing those shins parallel to the ceiling. Now we're only on our back for about two minutes in the beginning, but if that's uncomfortable for you, feel free to skip the first two minutes or just take some breaks, roll over onto your side for a second. It's gonna be different for everyone how long you can tolerate on your back, but again, feel free to take breaks as needed. And just lightly tapping those feet, keeping that pressure in the core. As you lower, let that leg gently fall. One more. Then we're gonna take those arms wide. Make sure you have plenty of space here so palms can face up. We're gonna bring those knees over the hips, and do some oblique spinal twists. So we're gonna drop those knees, keeping the shoulders firmly anchored, going to the front, back through the center, going to the back. So we're keeping those shoulders anchored so the obliques are controlling the movement. So we're not just letting those legs fall, we're controlling by using that core. And if you feel your shoulders lifting, just don't go as low with the legs. Feels really good on our backs too. It creates that mobility in the upper spine. It's a great way to gently work the obliques without straining those abs. We wanna be a little more cautious now. We're in the second trimester. We're starting to get more inner abdominal pressure because of baby growing. So we don't wanna strain the abs. We wanna just gently strengthen. All right, we're moving on to a bird dog. So gently roll over, bring your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. We're gonna raise the right arm and the left leg at the same time, up and down. Let's switch legs. So left arm, right leg. You can see my arm is going about shoulder level. My leg is going about hip level. And that's gonna help keep you balanced. And we wanna try to move the arm and leg together. And you could feel that in your core, right? Right here, that core has to react to the movement, it's getting it really nice and strong. This is one of the best core exercises I recommend for prenatal women and postpartum because it's gentle on your abs. You're working on balance. You're working those muscular slings, those cross slings in the back of your body that help support you as baby grows. It's really important to do these. So every trimester, we're gonna be doing these in our core workouts. All right, let's rest. You can push your hips back if you need to. We're gonna do a bird dog crossover. So we're gonna do that same thing, right arm, left leg, and then we're gonna touch the knee to the elbow. So right here, we extend, touch the knee to the elbow, extend again and come down. We're gonna do the other side. Knee to elbow. Now this might be challenging the more of a belly you have, but if you can't pull it in, just come in a little bit, just like that. You don't have to touch the knee to your elbow if you can't get it there. I'm just beginning my second trimester so I can still get there a little bit, but just do what you can and you can kind of see how I'm tucking my tailbone under to try to get that knee to the elbow. So we're working those obliques, again, those cross slings, like I said earlier. Great for the back body as well, the glutes. We get it all here. All right, we're gonna rest. Moving on to a modified bear crawl. So we're gonna stay in this position, knees under hips, hands under shoulders. And we're gonna keep the knees on the ground. We're gonna crawl two forward and then two reverse. So do you see that? Right arm, left knee, and then we back it up. So by keeping those knees on the floor, we're not putting too much pressure in the core, but we're still working that core. Another great exercise for strengthening. And if you have kids, you probably already do this one, honestly. <laughs> I know I do with my 20 month old, chasing her around, picking up her toys that she throws under the couch. And these are great movements for everyday life. And that's a lot of the things that you need to be doing to stay strong and strengthen your core so you can maintain your everyday life stuff that you gotta do. 
whether it's working a job, raising kids, cleaning, cooking. I do all that myself, so I'm right there with you. All right, we're gonna move to a bear plank and we're gonna lift those knees. So we're gonna start in that quadruped kneeling position, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, tuck your toes now. And we're gonna lift those knees out of the ground and then put them back down. Out and down. So just a little lift. You can see I'm only going a couple inches above the ground, keeping my shoulders over my wrists, abs tight. Now if that's too much, try one at a time. You're gonna shift your weight a little bit here, but that's okay. Even if you can only get a couple, that's totally fine. This one is a little bit more challenging. Try to really zip up that core. So pull that belly button in toward your spine. For me, it helps when I exhale at the top as I pull that belly in. And you're not trying to lift your butt, you're trying to lift from the core. So think, from the core, not your butt. You wanna keep that back nice and flat. Almost there. Nice, all right, moving on to a clam. So you're gonna come down onto one forearm, elbow, hips, and heels in line. Heels stay glued together, lift the underside of your waist. We're gonna lift that bottom hip, open the knees, and close. So you wanna firmly plant that forearm into the mat. Top arm can be on your hip, or you can reach it up to the sky, whatever feels better to you. So you can see my heels stay together and I'm just opening and closing those knees. Now, I wanna keep this waistline lifted. If this is too much, you're starting to feel it in your shoulder, too tight in the glutes, just come down, but make sure you're not just kind of collapsing and hanging out. We wanna keep that waistline active, those glutes, those obliques active. So again, you can stay here or take it up. This one's also great to do if you've got a resistance band. Oh man, it makes it so much harder. But for now, this is perfect. All right, we're gonna move to the other side. So just swivel around those legs, reset. Remember, elbow, hips, heels in one straight line. Lift that waistline or lift the hip if you want more. Open and close. So since we don't wanna spend as much time on our backs, again, it's gonna be different for everybody how long you can tolerate work on your back. It's great to introduce core exercises like this because you're still working your obliques, your abs, your glutes, everything you need to strengthen, but you're not doing it on your back or on your stomach. So we're gonna see a lot of side plank variations and you get that full body component. You're working your shoulders. So the whole body's working as a unit to lift you off the ground. And it's gonna make it really challenging. But again, you have that option. You can always drop the hip and come down. And you don't even have to do the full 50 seconds. If 30 seconds is enough, just do 30. one. All right, we're gonna swivel around to the other side, give that arm a break, and do a forearm plank hold. So I'm gonna show you with the bottom leg bent, we're gonna lift and hold. You can reach that arm up if you like. So this is the modified variation, that bottom leg's bent. We're lifting through the underside of the waist, reaching that arm up, pushing through the forearm. So you can stay here if you wanna make it a little harder. Scissor those legs. So the front leg, or the top leg goes forward, and on that back leg, you're on the side of the foot. Make sure again, you're not collapsing into that forearm. You're actively pushing into the floor, reaching with that arm as you've got it up. I think that really helps me visualize lifting my body is if I reach that arm up. Breathing here, we're almost there. Beautiful. All right, moving to the other side. We're on our last exercise. So I'm gonna show you with the bottom knee down first, elbow, hip in line, hand on the waist, or take it up. Really reaching through that top arm, lifting through the underside of your waist. Do you see the difference? So you could be here. You're gonna feel a lot in your shoulder, not in your hips, or here. You're really activating those glutes. And if you're there and you feel good, how about you take it up? Actively pushing through that forearm. Breathe and send energy, oxygen to those muscles. We're in the home stretch, 10 seconds.
and we are done. That's your second trimester prenatal ab workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my other workouts for the second trimester. I've got HIT, cardio, and strength, and let me know what you think in the comments and what you'd like to see next. See you next time.